after receiving tons and tons of backlash for making fun of her fellow contestants headshots along with a friend named Camila we do not know who this Camila is necessarily um, the crowned Miss Universe Bolivia 2022 Fernanda Pavasic had her right to represent Bolivia at Miss Universe 2022 revoked by the organization Around the time that the Miss Universe organization released the headshots for the contestants on November 17th, a video surfaced on Fernanda's own Instagram stories of her laughing at derogatory comments that her friend was making at other contestants' headshots and also egging her on. What section is this, Camila? It's the section Doñas. Mmm, la sección, gracias por participar. <risa> What the fuck? <risa> ¿Qué es esto? A mí ya no puedo creer. ¿Y yo? Vos estás diosa divina. Mira, mira la diferencia, mira esto. I also made a video on this whole debacle when it happened and in that video we discuss at length exactly everything that was said about the other contestants and that was done before realizing the mistake that she had made by posting that on her stories and deleting it a pageant fan page actually screen recorded it and shared it and it quickly spread like wildfire from fan page to fan page until eventually everyone knew about the situation Fernanda attempted to remedy the situation by posting a video where she claimed that it was a quote-unquote social experiment to prove that negative things spread so much faster online than positive things, even slightly alluding to the fact, at least in the captions of the video, that she was pleased with the amount of attention this incident has brought her and her supposed quote unquote advocacy. Again, these are all things that I discussed at length in my first video on this topic. After claiming that it was a quote unquote social experiment, unsurprisingly, people were not satisfied and continued to call her out. She then took to posting a video apologizing for the quote unquote social experiment if it did indeed hurt anyone's feelings. Again, I stated in my first video that this woman's way of thinking, her train of thought is just so mesmerizing and fascinating to me because she had so many things and options of things that she could have done in this situation. And um, even though nothing would have saved her reputation at this point, Literally doing anything else than calling this a social experiment would have been less embarrassing for her. I think it's also quite telling that she has since deleted both the explanation and apology videos and has disabled her comments. Although I don't really blame her much for disabling comments because receiving so many accusatory and critical comments at once can be overwhelming for everyone no matter how apparently guilty. Recently, however, we were all reminded of her little misdemeanor when she posted something that basically confirmed that she was no longer going to be representing Bolivia at Miss Universe 2022. In this post, she states that having this opportunity taken away is unfair in her view because she didn't say anything racist or discriminatory against anyone. She also said that the title is being taken away from her even though she did nothing wrong. And my dear, you did a lot wrong. She is so absolutely naive if she actually believed that she would even place, let alone win, at Miss Universe 2022 after a video of her making fun of her fellow contestants went around and around the internet and the owner of Miss Universe as well as the president and anyone involved with Miss Universe definitely saw it because I saw hundreds if not thousands of fans tag these people in these posts and videos. Did she really think that knowing this 
her organization would waste their money and resources by sending her. If nothing else, it was a good business decision for Gloria Promotions to replace Fernanda with someone who hasn't completely nuked her chances of placing or making friends, for that matter, at Miss Universe. Now, the woman they have chosen to replace Fernanda at Miss Universe 2022 is 27-year-old Camila Sanabria. She very recently competed at Miss Grand International 2022, where she went unplaced, unfortunately. This could prove to be a bit awkward also for her stint at Miss Universe, since we do know that there is some animosity between the two pageants, Miss Grand and Miss Universe, but it's mostly from Miss Grand International side, but nonetheless, she wasn't in my top and any of my predictions for Miss Grand International either. So I think it will be interesting to see if she could pull off a placement at Miss Universe, having only competed at Miss Grand International three months prior. She will also be representing Bolivia at Miss Supranational 2023, so she's getting a lot of opportunities to fly the Bolivian flag. Camila holds a license in business administration and a master's degree in direct marketing and commercial management. And you know what the funniest thing is to me? I think it's just so ironic that the woman chosen to replace Fernanda has the same name as Fernanda's friend Camila who <laughs> who was making fun of Fernanda's uh, fellow Miss Universe contestants or should I say former fellow Miss Universe contestants so anyway guys I think it's safe to say that we can close a chapter on Fernanda's bid for the Miss Universe crown I definitely think that it was a smart move for the organization to replace her since it was unlikely that she would have gotten anywhere at Miss Universe anyway due to this controversy um, I do not know the specific legalities whether Fernanda will be able to sue because there was nothing in her contract stating that you know the specifics of what happened could cause her to be dethroned not exactly sure but i do think that it was a wise decision perhaps financially if they did it legally um you know without breaching any sort of contract with fernanda that they replaced her because obviously now they at least have a shot with a girl who hasn't completely shot herself in the foot yet let me know what you guys think about this whole debacle. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!